Good day to you all. My name is Abdesalam Habib. I am working at Nigerian Tulip International College. I'm a biology teacher. In this video, we are going to be answering biology YEC 2015 questions. I will be guiding you on how to approach YEC questions. Let's look at question one. Which of the following organism is not a protozoan? Protozoan is the key word here. So what is a protozoan? Protozoan is a unicellular eukaryotic organism that belongs to kingdom Protoctista. Uh, some of them behave like animal, that's the protozoan, while the other members of kingdom protista do not behave like animal, like you have the protophyta. Then you have those that behave like both animal and plants, and they are called euglenophyta. So option A here is amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism, and it behaves like animal, so, and it is also eukaryotic. That makes it a protozoan. And in the question, we are looking at the one that is not a protozoan. Uh, plasmodium is also a protozoan, and paramecium is also a protozoan. So the correct answer here is Ascaris, and Ascaris is not a protozoan. It's a multicellular eukaryotic organism, and it's a worm, as we can see. The second question, the, cell, the structure of the cell membrane is A. The key word here is cell membrane. Now, what is a cell membrane? A cell membrane is like a barrier in the cell that controls what enters and goes out of the cell. It has a unique structure. Uh, the cell membrane is designed in such a way that you have the phospholipid bilayer and then you have proteins attached to either surface of the phospholipid bilayer. So let's look at the option for the correct description. A, double layer and a double layer of protein. That's not true because the proteins do not exist in double layer. Middle bilayer of protein with a lipid bilayer on either side. Now, the protein is not the bilayer, it is the lipid, and it is the protein that is on either surface, not the lipid layer. Middle bilayer of lipid with a protein layer on either surface. Now, this is the lipid bilayer, then you have the proteins on either surface. So the correct answer here is C. Option C is the correct answer. Next question, which of the following cell is a specialized cell? Now, what is a specialized cell? A specialized cell is a cell that has a unique function. They can carry out a specific function. So we are going to look at one of the options here that is correct. Uh, amoeba, amoeba is an organism and it is capable of carrying out several functions, nutrition, transportation, ETC. Plasmodium is also an organism and it's capable of carrying out several functions, not a specific function. The gut cells in the plant carry out a specialized function. This is, this is the gut cell. They control uh, the closing and opening of the stomata, so it carry out a specialized function. Meristematic cell, on the other hand, is not a specialized cell because it is even capable of giving rise to different kinds of cell. It's capable of differentiating into different kinds of cell. So the correct answer here is guard cell. Next question. When a spirogyra filament is placed in a concentrated salt solution for 30 minutes, the cell will become now, uh, looking at the behavior of cell in different solution, we have hypertonic solution, isotonic solution, and hypotonic solution. In hypertonic solution, the solution has a greater concentration compared to the cell. In isotonic solution, the concentration in the solution is the same as the concentration in the cell, while in hypotonic solution, the concentration in the solution is lower than that within the cell. So osmosis is the movement of water from region of lower concentration to region of higher concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Now the question is asking us about a cell being placed in concentrated solution for 30 minutes. That's hypertonic solution. So we are going to expect water to move out from the cell into the environment through the semi-permeable membrane. Then the cell becomes plasmolyzed as a result of losing excess water. So the correct answer here is Plasmolized. Plasmolized. Okay, question five. Water and salt are both lost from the human body in option A, breath and sweat, option B, breath and urine, option C, breath, urine and sweat, and option D, sweat and urine. Now, water and salt can be excreted in the body through urine and sweat, but salts cannot be excreted through the breath, so that makes the options with breath wrong. 
The correct answer here is sweat and urine. Sweat and urine. Question number six. Which of the following features could, not, could be used to determine the growth of a seedling? Number of flowers, number of leaves, length of flowers, and length of radical. Now, what is a seedling? A seedling is a baby plant that it eventually germinates and become the full plant. Now, a seedling has no flower, a seedling has no leaves, so it's not going to make sense in order to determine the growth of this seedling by counting or measuring the length of the flowers and the leaves. So, number of flowers cannot be the correct answer, number of leaves cannot be the correct answer, and length of flowers cannot be the correct answer. But now, a seedling has radical, which is a miniature root, that's the baby root. So the correct answer here is the length of roots. The length of roots. Question number seven, which of the following processes remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere? Now, from this chart of carbon cycle, this process, this process and this process and this returns carbon to the atmosphere. That's the fossil fuel combustion and the plant and animal respiration. While this process from this chart removes carbon from the atmosphere, that's photosynthesis. So the process that removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Question number eight. A student used the following step in testing for a non-reducing sugar. The student added Benedict solution to the sugar solution. The student then added dilute hydrochloric acid to the sugar and boiled. The student then added sodium hydroxide solution to solution in test tube two and boiled. Then the student added Benedict solution to the cooled solution in three. Use this information above to answer the questions. Why did the student add dilute hydrochloric acid to sugar solution in step two? Now, in order to be able to answer this question, we need to know the principle of Benedict solution. Benedict solution has oxidized copper sulfate, and for a reaction to take place between this Benedict solution, the sugar must be a reducing sugar. So if the sugar is not a reducing sugar, then we cannot get results for carrying out Benedict solution. So in order to make this uh, test feasible, the non-reducing sugar must be broken down into reducing sugars now. So a way to do that is by adding hydrochloric acid. When hydrochloric acid is added to, for example, sucrose, the sucrose can be reduced, can, can be broken down now to glucose and fructose, which are reducing sugar. So why did the student add the hydrochloric acid to the sugar solution in step two? A, to oxidize the sugar solution, wrong. B, to hydrolyze the sugar solution, and this is the correct answer. The hydrochloric acid is added in order to hydrolyze the non-reducing sugar solution so that reducing sugars can be produced, which can eventually react with Benedict solution. Question number nine. A student used the following step in testing for a non-reducing sugar, these were the steps described previously. Now, what is the importance of step three in the testing process? Now, step three is the student added sodium hydroxide solution to the solution in two and then boiled. Sodium hydroxide is a base and it reacts with acid in a reaction called neutralization reaction. Because hydrochloric acid was added, this can interfere with the result you will get. So this sugar, this acid needs to be neutralized by the addition of a base. An example of a base is sodium hydroxide. So the correct answer here will be the, to neutralize the sugar solution. To neutralize the sugar solution. Still on the same question, this was the experiment carried out. Now the question is, the color change to be observed in step four is, uh, in the principle of Benedict solution, when Benedict solution is added to a reducing sugar, the color changes from blue to brick red, to brick red. So the correct answer here is brick red, brick red. Question number 11, which of the following organism is an endoparasite? An endoparasite is a parasite that lives within the body of an organism. Why those parasites that live on the body of an organism are called ectoparasites? 
Tape worm is an endoparasite and it lives in the guts of human, the small intestine. Flea, tick, and aphid are all ectoparasites. So the correct answer here is tape worm. Tape worm. Which of the following resources is a non-renewable resources? Now, a non-renewable resource is a resource that cannot be reused. After it is being used, it is gone forever. While renewable resources are those resources that you can continue to use them over a long period of time without them finishing. A forest reserve is an example of a renewable resource. Water is an example of a renewable resource. Wildlife is also an example of a renewable resource. Mineral deposit is an example of a non-renewable resource. And this is an example of a mineral deposit. Question number 13. How many chromosomes will be in a gamete if the normal cell has four chromosomes? Now, in a normal cell, you have diploid number of chromosomes written as 2n, while in the gamete cell, the question is asking about gamete cell, you have half the number of this chromosome, which is haploid number of chromosome. Now, a gamete cell is a sex cell, like the sperm cell and the egg cell. So they have half the number of chromosomes in the normal cell. The question is asking about four chromosomes. So if you have four chromosomes, then in the gamete cell, you are going to have half the number, that's half four. That will give us two. So the correct answer here is two. Question 14. A plant that commonly undergoes vegetative propagation by means of leaves is hibiscus and crotularia, they carry out vegetative propagation by cutting, while spirogyra carry out vegetative propagation by fragmentation. It can also carry out sexual reproduction. Now, this is bryophyllum. You can see at the edges, new leaves are growing. So it carry out vegetative propagation by means of leaf. So that makes bryophyllum the correct answer. Question 15. Blood pressure is higher in the arteries as a result of... Now, arteries are those blood vessels that take blood away from the heart. In order for them to be able to carry out this function, then there must be pressure in the artery. So this blood pressure is caused as a result of what? Stress. Stress is not the correct answer. It is as a result of contraction and relaxation of the heart's muscles and also the muscles within the wall of the artery that increase this blood pressure. Also blockage in the arteries, this condition is not a healthy condition. And we want, at least there should be some high degree of blood pressure in the blood, in order for the blood to be pumped to other parts of the body. So if there is blockage in the artery, this can lead to a disease. It could lead to heart attack and some other things. Why presence of valve? Arteries do not have valve. Instead, veins have valve, and this prevents backflow of blood. So the correct answer is contraction and relaxation. And as we can see, this is artery. The walls of the artery can contract or relax. By doing that, then blood pressure increases. Why these are valves, which is common to vein, and it prevents backflow of blood? The correct answer here is contraction and relaxation. A farmer who wants to keep seed for three years before planting and wants to prevent them from sprouting uses. Now, uh, sometimes we need to wait for a suitable condition in order for us to germinate our seeds. So farmers use certain plant growth hormone in order to do this. Uh, oxin, gibberellin, and cytokinin are hormones that promote growth in plants. They increase the rate of cell division. Why abscisin is, is that plant growth factor that can slow down or inhibit plants from germinating. It can cause abscesses in plants. So these are examples of seeds that have been preserved using abscisin. The correct answer here is abscisin or abscisic acid. Question 17. A person had an accident that affected the skull but not the nose and later lost the sense of smell. The accident must have affected the rash. Uh, now, for, most, for all the sense organs, there is a part in the brain that controls what is happening 
at those particular sense organs. So even if a person's nose is not affected by an accident, if that part of brain that controls the sense of smell is affected, then that person can also eventually lose the sense of smell. Option A here is it affected the nose by extension. No, it has been stated in the question that the nose was not affected. Option B, the olfactory lobes of the brain. Yes, this is a part of the brain that controls the sense of smell. The passage from the nose to the brain, no, and the part of the skull near the nose. That particular part of the brain that controls the sense of smell is called the olfactory lobe. It is the one that controls the sense of smell. So that makes the correct option here. B. Question 18. The ability of the human eye to focus images accurately on the retina is called... Now, uh, this is a normal condition. So from the options, we have some conditions that are disorder. They are medical conditions, and they are not good for our body. So now, for the eyes to accurately focus image, maybe while you are trying to observe a distance object or an, a close object, is referred to as accommodation. So accommodation is the correct answer here. Astigmatism is when the curvature or the walls of the cornea is not smooth enough and light is not refracted in the proper way. While myopia is also a condition called nearsightedness, whereby the person can only see close objects and you can't see far objects. So accommodation is the correct answer. The ability of the human eye to adjust the focal length in order to see distance and near objects. So D is the correct answer. And we also have a diagram for it. You can see if you're observing far objects, this is how the lens shape is. And if you are observing near objects, then the lens takes this shape. It is called accommodation. Question 19, which of the following characteristic features is not associated with monocotyledonous plants? Monocotyledonous plants, when you go to the classification of living organism, monocotyledonous plant comes before dicotyledonous plant, and they are not as developed as dicotyledonous plant. Some of the characteristics of monocotyledonous plant include presence of fibrous root system, presence of narrow leaves, you have flora, in flora parts in multiples of three. And for monocotyledonous plants, the sepals and petals are not well differentiated. Sometimes, in some of the plants even, you can mistake the sepals and petals because sometimes they can exist in the same color. So that makes option A the correct answer. This is what a petal looks like. This is what a sepal looks like. In dicotyledonous plants, you can easily distinguish this. But in monocotyledonous plants, you cannot distinguish them. So that's the correct answer. Mm. Question number 20. A person suffering from obstruction of the bile duct is advised not to, eat, not to eat fat and oil because bile is a component that emulsifies fat. It is only after emulsification of fat that digestion of fat can take place by the enzyme lipase. Now, bile is produced in the liver, then it is stored in the gall bladder. So when there is nutrient containing fat and oil, this bile can travel through the bile duct. So if there is an obstruction of the bile duct, that means bile will not be transported, so there won't be emulsification of fat. So someone having this condition is advised not to eat fat and oil, because bile emulsify fat and oil. So, and the bile is not there. So there won't be emulsification of fat and oil. So the correct answer here is C. The correct answer here is C.